Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining uh, recent Code Forces educational round Div 2. I rated for Div 2 problems the yet another card deck. So pretty interesting problem. But uh, this problem is all about brute forcing in a in a tricky manner, you could say. And uh, let me define you how the problem actually works. So in this problem, you're going to be given an array which is denoted here as a deck of cards, deck of n cards. Each array's element is going to consist some value. Now, the interesting part is that here the values co constraints will consist up to 50, which is a very small number in terms of uh, uh, in, in terms of constraints. Okay, it's it's a very small number, the value of the element, but the element, how many elements are going to be there? It will be up to two, uh, three times ten to the power five. So this is basically the array, and each and every array's these elements will are denoted as the color name. So there will be at most there can be at most fifty colors, fifty different colors. And uh, what you have to do is you're also going to be given Q queries that you have to answer. Inside those queries, um, you have to input a value, which is the color name. And what you have to do, basically, is take out the first index uh, where that color belongs and, and take out from, from that position, the first index position of that color inside your array that you're going to be in, uh, taking input as input from the query. So... Uh, let's say that our first query says color number three. So you will go for go and look for the first index where three occurs. Here it comes, and you're going to take it, and you're going to insert at the beginning of the array, which is at the top of the stack. You could say uh, at the top of the card. You could say. So basically, what you have to do is this: each and every query, you're going to have to do that operation, and you have to. Uh, before doing that operation, before inserting that value here, you have to output the index where that color was before it was replaced in the first index or at the top of the card. I hope you get that. So basically, that's how it works. Now, let me show you how it actually works for this example. Now, uh, let's take a look at the first query. It says color number 3. So we're, what is the first index of the color 3? It's 5. So here, here we go, 5, answer is 5, but after that, you're going to take take this element out of this index, and you the, and the new end index would be here, which is going to be 1. So when it becomes 1, elements after that, till that position, previous position, will be changed by 1 index, which means this will be by Two, this will be index 3, this will be 4, this will be 5, this will be 6. Okay, so that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, this was deleted, so this would be 6 and 7. I hope you get that. So, like this, if I, if I go for, now look for the color number 2. Okay, where is the color number 2? The first index where the color number 2 occurs. Here, index number two. There you go, index number two. Similarly, you're gonna give out the answer. Now, if you uh, could slightly analyze it, uh, you could have a very big observation here. The big observation, or the the uh, the big tricky part, is that you could have an observation on the constraint where uh, the value or the color is up to 50 so you might have uh, you might have to or you have to try to manipulate that constraint as one of your positive weapon in order to solve it that's exactly what you have to do now if you think this operation in terms of the colors rather than the array indexes then the problem boils down to simple brute force approach also, another observation is that when you take out an element 
from that index it doesn't matter where it belongs let's say this was the index where I just vanished this index from here and I output it at the beginning of the index now by doing that what are the indexes that are actually changing uh, following this operation only the indexes which are in between the new index which is the first index and the index that was previous of the swap element or not swap actually taking uh, actually the the vanished element that you just took from that index so if that element I take out this elements index the previous uh, index was 5 and the new index becomes 1 so the values that are actually changing is between 1 and 5 okay I hope you get that so these are the two observations that you need to focus on so we uh, as I told you that you can do it brute forcely because the constraint is uh, very small in terms of or with respect to the colors of the array or the elements of the array itself okay so now the problem goes down to how are we gonna solve these operation how are we gonna manipulate each and every query step by step the way uh, it works so basically the way it works is you don't actually have to consider the other uh, indexes if any element is re um, is repeated more than once inside the array you don't have to worry worry about that you only care about the first index that the element is occurring so when you care about only the first index when a specific distinct element is occurring your array shrinks and boils down to that constraint that color constraint I hope you get that now in terms of this array if I say that okay let's take the uh, the example once again two double one four double three one okay two double one four double three one now what I told you I only care about the first index of element then uh, by doing that I'm gonna shrink the array and boil it down uh, to the smallest constraint possible which is definitely going to be up to 50 50 different colors there could be up to 50 highest so in terms of this array it's going to be okay two at which position we're going to deal with, with it with it later but first let's take a look at okay so we're going to deal with this index this index is value two and here comes one here comes four and here comes three we don't need to worry about the rest of them they are just basically useless because you only gonna be manipulating the first index that is occurring now when you do that they also play a role these elements also does play a role where when you when you're gonna be shrinking this value from the bigger array you're gonna also take the respective indexes now what I mean by that the respective index is meaning that what is the real index inside the real big array as I'm shrinking the array I need to track keep track of my real index arrays index that's exactly if I say one two three four five six seven this is the total array okay the relative uh, this is the you could say the bigger the bigger one now when I try to boil down the first index of distinct each elements and shrinking down I am also gonna take the respective index uh, of what it was in its bigger array that's also gonna be taken care of so I'm gonna take a vector pair inside that vector pair the first value would be the distinct value and also the second value would consider the respective relative index which is one uh, similarly for this one two of course this is the value this is the one color number one this is color number four its index comes to four and the color number three index comes to five that's all now the rest of the work boils down to them okay now how are you gonna apply this basically you now 
as the array is shrinked down to the smallest possible it's basically going to be up to 50 more or less and uh, just now you have to do the brute force as you generally do now how the brute force works uh, the basic possible way okay you're gonna take the query when you take the query what do you do let's say I, I I'm only caring about uh, let's say first uh, the inserted value was 3 okay this is the value what I'm gonna do simply just simply um, uh, do this uh, first I will I will take that uh, what I will take what is my relative index first okay it's in the it's 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 in the second position of my shrinked vector or my shrinked array not actual second one two three okay four okay let's cut it down to that might be very easy for you to understand I guess what was the first value two one okay here you go two and then one and then four three four three uh, let's uh, also denote the relative indexes one that would be two and there we go one two four and then five this was the relative index and this is the color index now imagine that what what was our query we're gonna be dealing with the okay that's so we're gonna be dealing with the color three so we're gonna go to what we're gonna sim simply go to here so this value is gonna go to here how do we do in brute force manner uh, absolutely we just do a swap operations when we do so when we do so when we're gonna be doing swap operation we need to maintain that this elements before doing that just print this elements index right here okay we've done that and simply just swap it just swap it then after one swap three comes here four comes here after then three comes here and then three comes here and when you do each and every swap operation previously what you do what you what you have to do is uh, the element that was swapped from left to right please uh, do increase that index that relative index of that array so when you do the swap operations just like that if three comes here then four comes here but when it comes this relative index just increase it by one that's exactly what how you are going to be doing each and every operations and you all know that till that position from that position till the first index that's where you're going to be stopping by now i hope you get that uh, but also for clarity and uh, proper understanding let me tell you uh, take you to the code section here uh, where was it uh, there you go okay so first of all we're gonna be taking the values inside the values when when we're gonna be taking the array values we're also gonna be taking care of a map or maybe an array you could say uh, just to make sure this uh, this line is just to make sure whether I'm taking the first index of the distinct element or not and when I take that immediately I'm gonna insert inside my pair vector which is definitely gonna help us later on when we do the query operation and after that uh, taking all the inputs and uh, when we're gonna be manipulating inside the query and concentrating on the values now taking input the value which is the color and then simply taking the colors initial position inside my vector okay I just taken that taken down that which is the position that I've told you and after that just do a proper while operation inside that while operation I know what I have to do from that position till the first position doing swap every time and when I do swap the, the elements that are getting from left to right just increase uh, just increase the position by one just like that the position dot second is increasing the relative um, indexes of the bigger one which I did boil and shrink down of course I have to increase the uh, relative index and that's how I'm gonna be doing after after just incrementing that index just swap it to the right uh, because each time in in this position 
there will definitely be the value or the color that you were asked to uh, like insert at the insert at the top of the card. So I hope you get that. Finally, just uh, I'm putting the answer each and every time the relative index of each and every pair. So I hope you get that. Uh, till next time, goodbye.